Hello you. As you know, in 2024, I'd like to walk the Appalachian Trail. I've just had an operation on my knees earlier on in the year and they're not perfect. So when I do the walk, I want to take a stool so that I don't wear my knees out unnecessarily. I've got three stools that I've been uh, considering. The Big Agnes Skyline Ultralight stool, the Helinox Speed stool, and the Robins Geodesic stool. All three of them have very different qualities and I'm going to review the three in this video and I'd like your help deciding which one I should take. First, let's look at the Skyline Ultralight Stall by Big Agnes. This is a hubless frame where the legs and seat support go through the central pole. They're all held together with shock cords. The seat itself is made from a 70D nylon, which is waterproof fabric and it's really quite soft and very comfortable to sit on. Its um, capacity is uh, 113 kilograms, that's 250 pounds. Its height is 38 centimetres or 15 inches and it has a seat width of 53 centimetres, that's 21 inches. The recorded weight on the website is 510 grams that's one pound two ounces and when it packs away it packs down to 30 by 9 centimeters or 12 and a half half or 12 inches by 3.5 inches next we'll look at the helinox speed stall this one um, is made from uh, aircraft dac aluminium it's does have hubs and a shock cord that hold them together. The seat cover is made from 600D ripstop aramid uh, yarn uh, fabric. This one has a, a seating capacity of 100 kilograms, which is actually the least of the three stalls, and that's 220 pounds. It has uh, a seat height of 11 inches, that's 23, sorry, 28 centimetres, and uh, a width of 35 and a half centimetres, that's 14 inches. The weight of the stall, according to the manufacturer, is 414 kilograms, that's one pound. And when it's packed down, it packs down to 42 centimetres by 9 centimetres, that's uh, 16 and a half by three and a half inches, which is the longest of the three when it's packed down, um, but not quite as wide as the uh, Big Agnes. Lastly, we'll look at the Robins Geodesic Stall. This one um, has a 7075 aluminium frame and a 600D polyester fabric seat cover. It has a capacity of 120 kilograms, that's 265 pounds, which is the most of all three stalls. It's the lowest though, at only nine inches high, and that's 23 centimeters. It's got a width of 28 centimeters, that's 11 inches, but you can see where you sit is much narrower. Um, it weighs only 260 grams according to the the uh, information which is the lightest of the three stalls and when it packs down it packs down to 33 by 6 centimeters that's 13 by two and a half inches which is the smallest uh, of the three here I've got the big Agnes stall packed away as I'd have it in my uh, backpack. It comes in two parts. 
uh, let's see how long it takes to put it together. We have the seat cover and then this hubless system here for the frame. Is it shock cords? The foot part of it goes through the frame and then the top end goes on. And then we have this uh, seat system which is colour coded. Let's you know which is the front and back. It doesn't tell you which side's left and right. And there we have the stall uh, assembled, ready to sit on. I'll put the time just here, let you know how quick that was to put together, and now we'll see how long it takes to pack it away again. Again, pulling the leg side out, packs it away a bit quicker. There we are, and we'll wrap it back up there. Okay, so that's the store dismantled again, and I'll put the time again just here. Let's see how quick the Helinox speed store sets up. There we are. We'll put that time just up here. And uh, let's see how quick it is taking down. Reasonably quick. And again, I'll put the time just here. So now I've got the Robin's geodesic stool. Let's see how long that takes to uh, set up. There we are. It's a, a fraction of a second to put up and down. I don't think we need to time that. We know how quick that is. Certainly the Big Agnes is the most comfortable of the stools to sit on. Um, and while the declared height of the stool was 15 inches, I think that's to the highest point here. Bottom to ground, measure that is oh. I make it about nine inches which is 23 centimeters but you can sit in this stall in in any position really you can put your legs out it feels nice and comfortable it, it's uh, not got a back support, no, none of them do, they're all stalls, but actually you feel quite comfortable in that position. And again, you can tuck your legs up under yourself. So if you're doing something down on the floor, you can easily, easily do that and uh, sit with your feet out when you're relaxing. Getting in and out of it, well, if you've got bad knees like me, and that's the reason for carrying a stool, uh, you can press down on the, either corner of the frame and sit up, which is quite easy to do, and you can get back down on it uh, reasonably easily without straining the knees. Sitting down on the Helinox stool, just about fit your bottom in between the two poles and my, my bottom's quite small, so anyone with a bigger bottom might not be able to fit in there. Let's have a look at the height, um, bottom to ground. So this one's only about 20 centimeters, which is eight inches. Uh, so it's a little bit lower than the um, Big Agnes store. Sitting with your legs out isn't so comfortable on this one because of the, the frame that goes underneath your legs here. So really sitting on this one is legs tucked under. So 
So it's okay for doing work down here, but not so much for relaxing. Getting on and off the stool. Again, you can push either corner. I wouldn't push on one side, it might topple over, but if you push on the opposite corners, and you get up. Oh. So it's a bit more difficult to get up off than the big Agnes. Uh, getting down isn't too bad. Obviously gravity helps you there. Sitting on the uh, Robin's stool. Let's see how hard this one is from the ground. So that one's just under nine inches. So in between the two stools in height when you're actually sitting on it. Uh, this one, if you put your legs out straight, it, because the seat's quite narrow, it does feel like it's giving me a bit of a, of a wedgie there. Um, it's certainly comfortable sitting on it with your feet tucked under. And it's not as bad uh, to sit with your legs out as the Helinox, but certainly not as comfortable as the Big Agnes. So with all three stalls side by side, the Big Agnes is the highest seat and the widest seat. It's certainly the most comfortable to sit in, but it is the most bulky and heaviest of the three stalls. The speed stall by Helinox is pretty much middle of the road, I would say. It's not as quick as the ro Robins to put together, but it's certainly a lot faster than the a big Agnes stall. It's not as light as the Robins but it's not as heavy as the Big Agnes and when it's packed away it's not as bulky as the Big Agnes either. But out of the three stalls I would say this is the least comfortable one to sit on. It's the lowest and really because of these these bars that go across underneath your legs uh, and I don't think you'd really be able to sit on it sideways uh, that one is probably the, the least comfortable to sit on. The Robin's geodesic stall is the lightest of the three stalls. It's certainly not as comfortable as the Big Agnes, nowhere near it, but it's a little bit more comfortable than the um, Helinox stall. It's certainly the quickest to set up and put down and uh, it packs down to the the you know the smallest area. On my scales at home, the weight of the Big Agnes was five hundred and thirty-seven grams. That's one pound three ounces. Um, there's quite a discrepancy there of um, twenty-seven grams uh, heavier than the declared weight on the listings. The Helinox speed stall was 416 grams on my home scales. That's 14.5 ounces, which is pretty much dead on what the um, manufacturer says uh, the item weighs. The Robins geographic stall weighed just 198 grams or seven ounces on my scales at home. That's a considerable amount less than the 260 grams that the manufacturer listed as its weight. I expect that they counted the stuff sack as well, whereas the other manufacturers didn't. So if you're walking the Appalachian Trail, which stool would you take? Would you take the Big Agnes, the Helinox, or the Robins? If you let me know in the comments below, I'd be really grateful for your advice. Also, um, if you like this video and you want to see more, click on the like button and subscribe for more videos. I'm hoping to review some pillows uh, that I'll be taking on the Appalachian Trail with me in 2024. I'll see you next time.